Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video on the R2L channel. It's been a long time actually since I uploaded. There's no videos on there because I deleted them all because I'm really consistent. But we're back today to finally uh, start our FIFA 21 career mode. And uh, well, we've wasted absolutely no time because if we go into the transfer hub, we've already set our sights on Derby County um, midfielder Louis Sibley, 18 years old. One hell of a player uh, and done wonders for Derby in real life. So already looking to see if we can strengthen up the midfield um, a little bit in the um, in the Rangers team. So first things first, we've got a training day. I'm just going to quick sim that and see um, what happens. We've got a load of new icons on the uh, on the timeline here. I'm not 100% sure exactly what they mean, but um, it is what it is. Uh, so we've got our first game um, in a European Cup. Uh, but first things first, we have uh, our manager, Tavernier, to, uh, to deal with. And we also have another email in the office as well. Chief Executive, we have an offer for Ryan Jack. I'm not interested in, um, in selling Jack, so we will brush him off. So, on the back of um, that Jack offer, I thought we'd take a look at the team. So, obviously, in real life, Rangers have brought in Roof, Itten, Bassi, um, Balagun. Uh, we've got Rebo, we've got Katic, we've got Jones, we've got um, Glenn Middleton, who... Yeah, we've got Glenn Middleton, we've got Defoe. Uh, so, we've got quite a, a large range of players to choose from. Um, the midfield, obviously, we've got... The likes of Arfield, Kamara, um, Rebo. Um, so, we, you know, but I, th I think going back to the start of the episode, adding Louis Sibley in there could be could be a bit of a, a bit of a shout, really. But we've uh, got this new keeper that they've obviously signed. Um, in terms of rating, is not quite there with, uh, with old Shagger. So we'll have to wait and see throughout the, uh, the episode, throughout the season, how much he progresses but we have another training session that i have um jumped into it looks like you can change it but i'm happy with that so we'll just simulate that everyone losing a bit of fitness but everybody getting a bit more sharpness so that's good developing the players ahead of the first game of the season we have two more offers we have another offer Ryan Jack again not interested in selling Jack nor am I interested in selling Joe Rebo so for now they're staying obviously we'll play the first game we'll see where we are um, with the players Alfredo Morelos again at this moment in time not interested in selling Alfredo Morelos our leading striker but we'll see throughout this preseason where we need to improve who can possibly go out on loan um and stuff like that so we'll see what happens we'll see what happens so uh, we have this brand new feature as well in terms of the the simming so we can interactive sim so we'll probably do that for a couple of in a couple of games as well but we're going to play our first game of the year um and i'm going to start instead of starting morales i'm going to start i'm going to start keeping my roof i'm going to start roof um, I'm going to start Arfield for Davies. I'm going to put a Rebo in and take Kamara off for this one. Katic, he can stay where he is because we've got Holanda, Goldson, Tav, Jack, Arfield, Hadji. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's go to our first game. Here we go then. First game of the season. And it's going to be pretty exciting in the European Shield, I think. So, we get underway. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we can start the uh, the career with a win. If we can have a good pre-season, then that will put us in a good position for the Scottish Premiership. Kent bursts through. Turn the man, get a shot away, and it's wide. A poor first effort from Ryan Ken, but overall, the team's not feeling too bad. Making a few 
good good moves, good runs, are getting into some good positions. So, yeah, good good first uh, initial feeling. So we've uh, picked up an injury already for Philip Palander, which it's not not too good. Tav's gonna oh, try and pull that back, but he tried to pull it back way too much. Barker did have a bit of help there from Ryan Jack, but we get a corner out of it. It looks like we're already being um, su well, suggested to sub Philip Hollander. Is Roof. Roof. Oh, what a finish. What a finish. 10 minutes in, or well, 11 minutes in, and we open up the scoring with an absolute worldie from Roof. Slotting it in near side. It's 1 0. Mikel Rico. Good tackle from Ryan Jack. Oh, Roof through again. Can he make it two straight away? No, he can't. It's a good save. Will we get a corner out of it? It's quite a deep ball. And it wasn't... Didn't get anything out of it. Kent playing uh, very far back on the corners. Here's Tavernier. Haji. No, Yanis Haji let the ball get away from him. Questionable defending from Borna Barisic. Barisic again letting the man away. He gets a blocking in the end. Arfield trying to pressure. And uh, in the end, their attack results into nothing. Tavernier with a misplaced pass straight off the bat. Recovers and uh, redeems himself. Ryan Kent has it. Roof with the turn and a switch of play to Brandon Barker on the right hand side, but Barker a little bit too slow to get that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yanis Hadji makes it two. It's a misplaced throw in from the opposition, and we pounce to make it 2 0 from Yanis Hadji. Can Hadji make it three? Of course he can. Back to back. In a couple of minutes, Yanis Hadji delivers. It's 3-0 and we're only half an hour into the game. I think I think I need to up the AI. I think professional, professional, I'm not a FIFA player. Professional was about where I was on FIFA 20. FIFA 21, we've come straight out the blocks. Burst into a 3-0 lead 28 minutes into the game. So, yeah, I think maybe for the next next game we have to up, up that difficulty a little bit, Jack. Just well to keep the ball. Roof, Hadji. Can Hadji make it a hat trick? No, but Ryan Ken can get involved and get another goal. Three goals in the space of five minutes or something like that. And that's a question, <laughs> questionable um, celebration from Ryan Ken. But we'll let him off. It's his first goal for us as uh, as manager. The first goal of the year. Hadji tried to get the shot away, let the ball get away from him. The deflection off the defender allows Ken to slot it home. 4-0. I tried my luck there with a, uh, a random through ball into the into the middle of the park. But it didn't quite pay off. We deal with their attack. And very quickly, we could find ourselves on the attack. That's a, a ball's behind, gone behind Barker. Not uh, quite the pass that I was looking for there to get ourselves in another position. But that's a good tackle from Ryan Jack. And he's found Kimar Roof, who could make it his second of the game. And he does. It's in off the post. It's 5-0. And we're not even at the end of the first half. Oh, Roof is through. It's just too easy. It's just too easy. We need to up the difficulty for the next game. Yeah. So we started the second half exactly how we ended the first. On the attack, Ryan Jack getting all sloppy with the ball. He got the shot away, but it was deflected out for a corner. Can we make it seven with a set piece? Goldson had a go, but it wasn't to be. We've got another corner, though. Ball comes in. It's a header. So the opposition here. They're working their way closer. Arfield in the right place at the right time to win the ball back. Can we now make a bit of a counter? Haji. Taverniers bursting on the wing. 
Hadji off field. <sighs> Deflected and away. And now we've got that all under control. Let's give the keeper the ball. I don't think he's seen much of the ball <laughs> in this episode so far. So making a couple of changes. Our field's coming off. Ryan Kent's coming off. And we're bringing on Stephen Davies, Arebo. And then at top, we've replaced Roof with Alfredo Morelos to see if we can just uh, hammer home a couple of more couple more goals. And Morelos straight in the action, winning the ball. Arebo. Morelos is bursting through nice and early. We're going to lay that off to Hadji. Can he get the ball in his feet? Morelos. Oh, damn it. Stephen Davies, I meant to shoot with Stephen Davies, but press X accidentally and he uh, he did a pass. Look at that though, straight back into it. Morelos is open, get a touch on that, boom, Alfie buries it. And the back of the net, he misses his second opportunity. But nonetheless, it's 8-0 in our first game and we've still got 20 minutes left to play. The head on that. Morelos. Real chance. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. I don't know what to say anymore. Well, it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. It's very hard to imagine losing it now. If we Austria were to lose nine goals in nine minutes, something is seriously wrong after the performance that we put in. We've replaced Barker on the right with um, Itten. Arebo looking to make it 10. Can't quite make it 10. A record for our first, our first game. With 10 goals and Morelos might do that and he does. What a finish. What a ball in from Tavernier. And Morelos, who's only been on for about 20 minutes, has fired in a hat-trick and made it 10-0. Which, even for me, on the difficulty that I'm playing on, which is professional, which is what I am, what I was on on FIFA 20, that's just unseen, unheard of for me. So, we definitely need to up the difficulty, I think, for the next one. The whistle blows, and that is our first win, our first game, and... Um, Perfect start to the game. We've got to decide who gets the match ball because Ruth got a, um, a hat trick. Alfredo got a hat trick. Here we are then, fresh from our first victory to jump straight into another game against Belgium side. They're going to get the game underway. We're playing in the white strip today. And let's see whether or not we can do a repeat performance. We have up the difficulty. So I'm expecting it to be a little bit more tricky, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So straight away, as we've just got the ball, it feels like the world class, the, the step up from professional, bloody hell lads, the step up from professional to world class seems more like a semi-pro to world class kind of jump. Morelos is offside, unfortunately, but he does put the, uh, the ball in the back of the net, but unfortunately... He is offside, and it remains nil-nil. Barisic has a lot of space to work with here. He's got a player charging through, and that, despite trying to put so much power on it, held the button for a long time, was a shocking effort to get the ball over. Throwing in for the opposition, the home team, in a pretty dangerous spot, if they can work the way through. Good tackle, though. Ryan Jack getting in there. Nice, finding Ryan Kent. I'm going to switch the play though to... No, I wanted it to the wing, to Tav. It was free in space. We got there eventually. That could be a possibility, and it is, and it's a goal. Barker getting his first goal for the club. And we lead one goal to nil away from home. So, one goal advantage. 20 minutes into the game, near enough. And I, I don't feel like it's, it's very deserving... I must say, world class definitely does feel like the um, the difficulty to be playing on. The hands go up, but the ref says no play on. Come on, Connor. Good save. So I think that's the first save he's had to make in uh, in this season. 
That was really sloppy defending wise. Again, a second short corner. It's back to the corner kick taker. Kent trying to keep him pressured. Tavernier. They go rushing in. Close the gap. Jack gets the ball nicely. Good job from Ryan Jack, who was previously booked for a challenge. Just knocked the back of the knee of one of the uh, the players. I need some help. Morelos. Morelos to make it two. It's a poor shot. It didn't get a good connection with the ball. And it's straight into the keeper's hands. So as you can see on the possession stat, we've hardly had the ball. Which is what I was on about. I alluded to it earlier. Was it? A, is it a deserved lead at the minute? I've not really seen much of the ball. Haven't really created many chances. Tavernier getting the ball all under his feet. And this is a charge now. From the opposition, we've got Halanda back in the team, by the way. Halanda was okay. He just picked up a knock in the last game. He is back out there. Barisic, man. I thought that, I thought we got away with that. But no. It's a booking for Borna Barisic. It's just... Put a man there, it's through the middle of the wall and the man got it out. Ryan Jack again putting in a an important interception. Then gives the ball away. Halanda. Oh, brilliant tackle. We can't get the ball away though. Second time lucky. Is Barker on side? Barker must be on side. The flag is still down. He's got no one to put a ball into. Ryan Kent! Oh, that's an awful finish. And the Not the best of finishers there from Ryan Kent, but you can appreciate the effort. You can appreciate he tried. That's a really good ball over the top, and it's slotted away, and it's 1-1. One, one. That goal was coming. They, uh, they were threatening right from the off. We got the lucky lead. But the home team have brought it back with a brilliant ball over the top, slotted away near post. And McLaughlin can't get his hand to that. He should have got his hand to that, but he didn't get his hand to it. And it's 1-1. So, into the second half, we made two changes to the squad. We bought Cameron to make his debut under our management and also... Scott Arfield, who put in a pretty good shift in the opening game of the season. So here's Camera straight away getting in the mix with a ball to Morelos. Morelos laying it off to Tavernier, who picks that up. Gets a ball in. Not the best ball you've ever seen. It's a very good effort. Poor defending. Morelos is on the charge. So's Kamara. Can Kamara make it two for Rangers? Yes, he can. Glenn Kamara puts Rangers back in front. <laughs> I really need to speak to the players about the celebrations. Uh, we need to make a, a bit of a second team, I think. We need to... We have, we've got, I've got a team in mind for the, for the A team. And then if we can have a, a, a B team... Um, that would be that would be perfect as well to strengthen up and have a bit of a rotation throughout. You know, mix the two teams, have a a rotation team and then a, the the main team. We've got the ball here. We don't know what to do with it. Kamara does very well though. That wasn't quite as well. Didn't quite get the uh, pass. And now they are on the charge. And we're going to send Ryan Kent on his way. Does he keep it in? Not quite. Doku, who's not long been on the pitch, is bursting down the wing. A little bit of a turn there allows Bassi to get back on him. Bassi, uh, Bassi didn't have the pace of Doku. And that was a good run. That was a good run. I should have read that. But I didn't. 
We're going to make the sub. We're going to bring Itten on. Take Hadji off. Kamara, who's already scored in this game. Can he do it again? No, he cannot. That is a shocker. That is a shocker of a uh, attempt from Kamara. He knows it. He looks devastated down on the pitch. But that could have been the chance to seal three points there with only eight minutes to go in this game. And we've just missed a pretty... Not exact, not quite a sitter, but a pretty open chance there to make that three. Can we get... We can't get a shot away. Ah, it's not over yet, though, if Arfield can win the header. Down to Kent. Morelos. Morelos with a shot. It's saved. And it's cleared away. So, there we go. That is it. We have ended our second game. Our first game on World Class as a draw. I'll take that. Um, a few stupid errors that led to uh, to their goals, but overall, not a bad, not a bad game. But we've definitely got areas that we need to work on. I think adding, if we can, fingers crossed, adding Louis Sibley to the squad will help that as well. Um, but yeah, overall, the first two games not bad. I'm going to sim the next two on the interactive sim, uh, and fingers crossed. We'll be able to uh, to get some more points in them. We've got four points out of two uh, two games, six available. Uh, we had more shots. We created more chances, but they had more of the ball. So I think we need to work on keeping the ball, work on our possession game, and um, go from there, really. But, yeah, overall, not a bad start to the, uh, the European Shield um, with a win and a draw. And that should... And obviously, ten, we've got, like, a... Well, we've still got a 10-goal difference because... The two goals here that balances out, so we've still got a 10 goal difference, and we should, uh, I think, we'll be sat at the top of the league. All right, so we've had an offer for Jordan Jones for two million, just over two million. Now, I'm not sure, do, I, do we keep Jordan Jones? I feel like Jordan could be a, a valuable asset in the future. Obviously, we haven't yet played him, so I might give him a game in the next one so we're going to reject that offer for now again I'm not 100% keen on selling players at this minute in time I want to keep the, the squad strength high Louis Sibley what have you got for us overall rated 66 that's um, I expected maybe a little bit more 2 million 2.6 wage I think we should go in and try to secure Louis Sibley, who has worked wonders for Derby in the real life um, championship. So let's see, can we secure Louis Sibley in the midfield? He could work as a um, rotation player. Anyway, let's just skip all this. Right, so. Offer transfer fee, so they want two million. So if we start with the asking price of two million, two million, accept, submit. They'll probably shout at me and say, You're an idiot, get out of here. That's reasonable. Okay, 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 okay. So first things first, that's fine. Now we've got to negotiate with Louis. Now the offer, the wage was 2.6k a week, was it? So, the role at the club, rotation, for now, for now, prove yourself and you could be a star, good, right, cool, five years, that's fine, time for Louis to grow as a player, get that overall rated up, I'm happy with that, weren't thinking about including a release clause, yeah, that's, 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 that's fine, I don't care about that. Now, there's a new thing in the... Okay. It's not there. I was going to say, there's a new thing in the uh, negotiation project, uh, prospect. Uh, right, so. I'm going to edit. Signing bonus 28k. Wage. I'm going to try and get the wage down to 2.8. Just to save... Uh, a very small amount of money not much but just a little bit 
I could have maybe brought the, the, the signing off down a little bit, but for signing on bonus. It's not quite what the lad was hoping for, but he's keen to join the club. 2.8k weekly wage will settle the deal. Louis Sibley is a bear. We've managed to get him from my personal home club to my other half home club. And, um, yeah, get in there. I will take that. So let's get the, uh, the squad training done. And then we've got this game against the bottom of the league, Antwerp. Uh, we're going to do a quick sim on that. We're going to simulate it. So we'll... team management. We're going to start Jones and Sibley. We're going to give Sibley a game straight away. We'll put him in for... Uh, we'll swap Hadji round. It's got out for a corner. Ball goes in. And it's gone out for another corner. And the keeper gets rid of that. And now... Well, we, we keep possession. Ah, the ball tried to go to Tavernier, and unfortunately, it went a bit too far. Barker gets the ball back, working with Tavernier. Here we go. Jones is through. Jones scores. For Rangers, and that is why I didn't want to sell Jordan Jones because he has that little bit of something that, as and when it's needed, he can just help and just deliver. Good start to the game, 1 0 up after 20 minutes. So I'm keeping my eye on two players in this one Louis Sibley, who obviously has just played a key pass there to Haji, and also uh, John Jones to see whether or not he could be a bit of a rotating player. Sibley winning the ball back. Haji. Ball tries to get in. Can't quite make that one. Stats at the end of the first half. It's 1-0. Not, not a bad start. Not a bad start. The game plan. Uh, yeah, ratings. So let's see. Tavernier's not having a good game. Sibley's having an okay game, you know. 7.7 .7 rating. That's decent for Louis Sibley. I'll take that. Let's go to the second half and let's see if we can extend our lead or at least keep three points. What a save. Good save. Good save. Look laughing. We need to get um, Alan McGregor on the field as well. We need to try and get him out there. Jack. Haji. Jones. Oh, good spin. But Barker. Tavernier. Goes out for a corner. Barisic will take. It falls to Katic. And uh, overall, not a brilliant set piece that. Sibley picks it up. Haji. Barisic. Jones. Ball goes in towards the back. And Brandon Barker makes it too. And there we go. The game is over. I didn't even get to bring Itton on. But that will do. Well, seeing as I've been recording for an hour already, I might as well just end it there and we will start the next episode with the semi-final and fingers crossed the final before we jump into the Scottish Premier League. So there we go. That is going to be it for today. If you guys have enjoyed, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not much of a FIFA player, so you have to just bear with me. Uh, I'm going to try and watch a bit of... Uh, a bit of videos, a couple of videos around uh, on the career mode to try and refresh myself, try and get up to speed with maybe who, who we could buy in the future. But overall, I don't think the team's that bad. Louis Sibley seems to be a quite a good um, addition to the squad. We can develop him quite a lot. Obviously, he's uh, at the moment is 66 rated. If we could try and get him towards 70 by kind of this time next season, so at the end of this year, that, that, that could be good. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll obviously have to develop him quite a lot. But yeah, there we go. That is going to be it for today. If you guys, like I said, have uh, enjoyed, hit like, hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys on a brand new video very soon. So thank you for watching and goodbye.